We have all seen the Iron Man movies. Iron Man, or we can say Tony Stark, has no superpower, but you can count on his genius level intelligence. Out of that intelligence was born the Art Reactor. But what is an Art Reactor? And where is it made from? The Stark Reactor is most likely a multi isotope radio decay cell. They are real batteries that rely on radioactive decay of atomic isotopes. Radioactive isotopes? What's that? Let's learn more about it. Did you know that there are 118 recognized elements in the periodic table, which are sorted according to their atomic number? The atomic number is equal to the number of protons the atom has, which define what an atom is. The atoms of the same elements can have different number of neutrons. And that is what we call isotopes. The term isotopes was introduced by British chemist Frederick Soddy in 1913. Isotopes came from the Greek word isos meaning equal and topos meaning place. Together, it means equal place or having the same place. We can simply say isotopes are different forms of the same element. They have similar number of protons but different number of neutrons. So, due to this difference, some of the nuclei become unstable. Why? Because they have a lot of energy in it. Therefore, they dissipate their excess energy in the form of radiation. And those isotopes are called radioactive isotopes. Let's have an example. Let's have the isotopes of carbon. As you can see, they all have similar number of protons, but they have different number of neutrons. And that's what makes them isotopes. Carbon-12 and carbon-13 are stable isotopes, whereas carbon-14 is an unstable isotope. It means this isotope acts as the radioactive isotope for carbon. Now, how are radioactive isotopes used in everyday life? In the field of archaeology. In our example earlier, carbon-14 is an example of a radioactive isotope. It has a half-life of about 5,700 years. It means that after 5,700 years, half of the carbon-14 disappears. Archaeologists compared the ratio of carbon-12 to carbon-14 to determine the approximate age of biological matter such as dinosaur bones. This process is called carbon dating! And that's it for today! See you next time!